Hello and welcome to Talk to Malik Jones. I am your host Malik Jones and today in the program talking to me is musician Samba Ba. He's got a huge fan base has played his music to the delight of his fans and today I am delighted myself to have this wonderful young musician in front of me. Samba, welcome to talk to Malik Jones. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Um, Samba, we will begin by uh, trying to find out, for those of you who don't know you very well, uh, where do you come from? Who is Samba Ba? Uh, Samba Ba is a Gambian. I was born in a village called Mayok. I grew up here in Latrikunda, Germany. Yeah. After my school, I traveled to... Europe. What school? What school? Uh, at Mayok Primary, and then I came here. I started at uh, St. Augustine, but I didn't complete my school. So from there, I traveled to Switzerland for seven, eight years, and then I came back uh, 2012. Why, why music? Did you have any inspiration in uh, Switzerland uh, to do music? Where, where you were you in Bern, or you were, where, where in Switzerland? I was in Geneva. Geneva. Yeah, nice place. Geneva. I, like, I like Geneva. been mm -hmm. there myself. Mm -hmm. That's where I start singing, you know. In what language? Not, not in Swiss, eh? In, in French. In French? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. And then um, people love what you were doing? Yeah. From there and then when I came back, I started, I said, let me do music also and see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now... How has it been for you, starting the music here in the Gambia? Yeah, you know, first of all, when I came, I was... There's a reason why I, I was I was learning music in Switzerland, but when I came back, then I, I didn't plan to be a musician, you know, with fullers, you know. We are so religious, you know, music is not this, it's not this, you know what I mean? You, you they would have preferred you to go to be a... Uh, Arabic teacher, Arab or, or imam. to go and imam, Something or like to go and raise some cattle somewhere. Thank you. A uh, huge uh, herd, a herd of cattle. Yeah. And, okay. And but then before traveling to Europe, I was working at the industry. I was working in a hotel called Bana Beach Hotel. Mm. So I say with entertainers there, and then I do love music. I say let me. So you ah Bana Beach Hotel. Yeah. So I'm at Bas Hotel. This was Sirif Maron's hotel. Sirif Maron. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Not the Ahmad Bar one. No, no. Okay. But it's the same thing after Ahmad Bar, I think. Same hotel. Yeah, same of hotel. course, of course. Same it hotel. It became Mansi. And then it became Mansi, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I remember the name Bana mm -hmm. and then Mansi. And then, yes, Ahmad Bar was at one time. Any relationship with him? Wonderful. Ahmad Bar. A, a good man. Uh, you had some good relationship with him? I know him. Oh, you know him? Yes. The Minister of Tourism when I was in living in Latrikunda, German, oh. uh, my best friend called Najib Jani was living at Ahmad Ba's house. Okay. Ahmad Ba is a, is a good man. He's a brother of mine also. He's a big man. He's a big man. He's <laughs> my brother also. I know the whole, the, the whole family. I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's go, let's go through your career as a young aspiring musician at the time. Mm -hmm. how, how was it like? So when I came back, I, see, I sing a first song called... Duri Duri and Tamole Koliata. You know, when I was in Europe, you send money to people and then they will send you a picture, your house is ready and all those stuff. And then I released uh, two, two singles, Duri Duri Mane and how to call it, uh, Tamole Koliata. I say, Alinga Duai, Alinga Duai, Tamole Koliata. Meaning, meaning. Let's pray for them, let's pray for them. Uh, traveling is very difficult. Your mom is not there, your daddy is not there. It's like, they just take you and throw you in the jungle. So traveling is like that. That's for young Gambians who travel yeah. looking for a better life. Better life. And then when they send money and then they will misuse this money. Oh. Yeah, so I sing for that. When they work very hard, mm -hmm. gather their money, send it here, yeah. hoping that somebody is building a nice house for them. And then on yeah. the other hand, somebody is eating up the money. Yeah. How did you say that? It's not good. Duri, duri. That's a duri, duri? Or? No, that's a tamole koliata. Tamole koliata. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then I saw duri, duri mani. Uh, mansa duri mani. Yeah, that's for 
It's like duri duri mani mansa duri mani means like uh, it's, it's to praise a leader, to say leader is on top of uh, in the society leader is oh, always at the top. Yeah, yes, yes, the yes. Top. yeah, something like that. The rest, uh, well, that, that's natural. Yeah, the the, the president is always at the top. The rest are yeah. subjects. Subjects. Thank like you. a king and the subjects. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. So, when did you make a breakthrough? When did people say, yes, Samba Ba, Samba Ba, Samba Ba, all over the place, Samba Ba? Uh, 25th uh, May 2012 at Kanilai. Okay. Yeah. The birthday of the former president. Yeah. Mm. What, did you, what did you do that was spectacular? I came with a song called Alin Samba Kikendolia, Fony Kanilai. Yeah. That's the first day the public saw me. And then I thank God for that day. Can you explain what the, the title of the song? I said, Alin Samba Kekendoli Afoni Kanilai. Yeah, yeah, Jamie, something like that. The song is all about that. Mm, I mm. was praising the former leader in that song. Okay. Yeah. That's where praising him for what? What were you praising him for? What did you see in him that you praised him on that particular birthday? Uh, I did that because of the uh, agriculture. Mm. He was promoting agriculture at, at that time. And then I say, he's. It's my duty also as a young musician coming to promote him. People select leader, be the musician, we promote you. Yeah. And uh, how did you how did you succeed? How did you succeed from then? What is what has the journey been like for you? you it's not easy, especially when you be uh, you are a musician who is to uh, uh, press leaders. There's a lot of challenges on it because uh, the other side will like you and then the other side will li not like you. I make it very clear. Most, my first interview in Kanilai, I told them I stand in three pillars. First, how to maintain peace and stability in the country, to promote our cultural values, and to promote any leadership. When people select, we promote you. Yeah. And that is what you still are, are doing? Even tomorrow, that's what I'm doing. Very well. Yeah. Okay. Tell me something about how do people view Samba Ba's music? How do people see your music? I believe people love my music because uh, now it's two to three years I didn't perform. I was because of the situation in the country. I just take my time. I was doing my homework. I face a lot of challenges, but I know many people love me. Yeah, I mean, many people appreciate what I'm doing. I thank God for that. You talk about you face so many challenges. Right. What 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 are the challenge? What were the challenges, and how did you overcome those challenges? I'm still trying. I didn't overcome the challenges. What are the challenges? You know, music is first of all. Music is, is very expensive. Uh, let me go a little bit at the back. Before, when you go to Kanilai, you go to Kanilai with your full band. And then you rent the end, you rent musicians because you have to pay them transport and all the. Maybe you'll go there three or four times before you come on stage. So when you come on stage and people see you, they think you have everything in life. It's not easy. To pro even to produce a song, you have to do your homework, you have to go to the studio, it's not easy. And then, as you know, Gambia, sponsor, me, myself, I never got a sponsor in this country. Nobody sponsor me. I do everything on my own. Yeah. You have some money, you have money. No, I don't have, I can't say I have money, but I thank God. To, 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 to do everything on your own. Yeah. I mean, Without a sponsor, right? Well, you would have loved to have a sponsor, but nobody can. Definitely, they definitely. don't. The the the, the would-be sponsors yeah. don't know Sambaba because Sambaba has not approached them. I once did for me some years ago. So from there, I say I don't think. You tried to knock on someone's door. Yeah, I tried to knock one company. I went there, but the way even they welcome us and they treat I was. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah, the kind yeah, of treatment. Yeah, so I say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, you still haven't. You still haven't overcome 
the problems. The problems are still there. Yeah. What problems. do you think is the way forward? What would you want to see that will help you move forward? What do you want? What does Sambaba want to be reckoned with as a force in the Gambian music industry? It's a good question. Good question is not easy to answer. <laughs> That's what, I'm uh, what I want, um, you know, for me, I I believe me, being a musician is like going fishing. That's why I love fishing. It's part of my hobby. Today you can go and catch a barracuda. Tomorrow you can go and catch a bonga fish. But I want Gambian people let them support their musicians. We don't have. We have nothing. We have only the people. Let them support their musicians. If they did that, I think that's the number one. I want that. Let them support. Not only me, but the whole musicians in the Gambia. Let them support. You don't look, this one is a fuller, or this is a jola, or this is a mandinka. I'm a fuller, but most of my songs are in mandinka. So I'm appealing to all Gambians, let them support their musicians. Yeah. How do you feel mm -hmm. as a Gambian when you see organizers of events mm -hmm. go and get musicians from the outside and they come and perform in our country how, how do you feel you feel left out neglected sort of definitely I, I'm not jealous of that but if you are a musician you have to live on it so that you can understand sometimes you feel very shameful that's why these two, two, three years, even though they call me, there are musicians from other countries, I don't want to mention names, come and be a guest artist. I say no, because as you know music, maybe more than me, mm. more than me. If there is a musician coming, they have to do sound checks. And this sound check, they lock everything. And normally what they did, they invite you, come and do playback. I don't want to be doing playback. I want to do, perform live band with my band. So you come there, I once experienced it with uh, social security. We went for an event, how to call it, in Bakao, Independent Stadium, which uh, yes, used to do. I remember that. I was at the tour. I even don't want to come. But they call me, they say, I have to come and at the event. What they did, when we are, was on stage, they lock everything. I know that. They even there is no that. right. They always do that. So since that day, I say, anybody who called me when there is a musician coming in another country, I am not going. Even though I have one or two events in a year, I prefer that one. Or when Gambian musician is playing, when he invites me, I go. But for other thing, international music, no, I'm not going. Yeah, what you have said, I can attest to that. I have been on stage on many occasions mm -hmm. as MC, and uh, when they support, they call you support art artist. Mm -hmm. because you are supporting the main act that is supposed to come and perform the night. The sound for the supporting artist and the main artists are completely different, different you know and i was kind of what, what's going on mm -hmm. and you know i i can i can i can see y your your fears there now let's come to the present what are you doing now presently now i release um, one single another one is coming next week and then i nearly finish my new album I'm just waiting for the right moment to release it. This uh, single, uh, just two weeks ago I released it. It's called Democracy. Democracy. Right. Okay. It's good, good, good. Are you, are you, did you base that song on the current political scenario we have in the country? And let me ask you, what is your take? on the current political situation of your country, the Gambia, our Gambia. First of all, I should begin on something. I should greetings to every Gambians and all my fans in the country and then greetings to the first family, the president of the republic, uh, Lahaji Adam Baro, and the entire Gambian people and the world at large. Um, what I did normally, when the coalition come over, I really say something, it's called Alabuka Jikotinya. 
I said, Gambia be foro lo munti, kele manke o yele mambong, Gambia jao lo maluta. I think you understand what I mean on that. My money case are very good, okay, but I'm I trying say, to follow suit. Okay, just to say Gambia, we are all honest people. Mm -hmm. Nobody fight, no bloodshed, and then the enemies of Gambia are all ashamed today. Because with the situation, we all manage to live with it without any problem, and then to press those leaders on power. I'm here for everybody. As I said at the beginning, when people select, we promote you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you see people adhering to that? Is what you what you singing? Is that how Gambians are behaving now? I got a lot of problem with that track because many people treat, are treating me on that song Alabukaji Kotinya. Sometimes I even used to leave the country and go and come back. Still now, even with this new song, people are still some people are still following me. But with Alabukaji Kotinya, even some of the people are in, some of people they used to insult me. But some of them come here and I'm sorry, we didn't understand what you mean, but today we understand what you mean. Will you follow that same trend in your music? Will you be looking at the political situation of this country and sing or send messages or in your songs, your lyrics will look at the situation in the country and that will be the basis of your music? Uh, if you see my music, most, most of my, uh, my songs are to maintain peace and stability. That's what I sing most. I press, but most of my song, if you speak what I'm saying, peace and stability. I stand on those pillars. On those pillars. Yeah. So, you are not very happy when you saw a group of people take up to the streets and try to derail the peace and stability no, of this country. Not at all. It no, was no. like defeating the purpose of your song. Yeah. Well, how did you feel when that happened? There is no place like home. So for me, I think it's my duty to do everything, seeing my sisters and my mothers who are running left and right. I want them to live in peace. So the only thing I have is music to give message. So that's why I give those kind of messages, to maintain peace. Let be one Gambia, one people. This is what I'm, I stand for, and this is what I'm fighting for. You have been a favorite of the former president. I have been MC of many of his uh, programs, mm -hmm. and I always find you hot on the list of artists. You're always a, a favorite on the artist list. Mm -hmm. Is that happening with the present government? Does Barrow, President Barrow, know who Sam Baba is? I saw, did you, saw you, you did a clip for President Barrow. Right. Is he aware of it? I don't know yet, because I released this song two weeks ago. Did you, send him, a, did you send, him a, send him a copy? I didn't did it yet, but I'll do it very soon. Uh, talking about the former president, mm. God knows God is my witness. I'm always praying for him, mm. because if people know me, mm. it's through him. Mm. Uh, I pray to God, may God... That is... That is very good of you. Yeah, may God. You are somebody who doesn't forget yesterday. I'll never forget yesterday. Okay. I make a promise in Kanilai. Mm. I said, anywhere I go in the world, I'll talk about you. Singing for Baro doesn't mean I don't like the former president. The love I have for him is that love is still there. But believe me, I love Baro also. Mm -hmm. And then I'll support Baro up to the maximum level without any distance. I'm that type of person. Baro is there, God put him there. It's my duty to support him. Mm. Even another president come also after Baro, inshallah, Rabbi, I'll support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are not in po time of politics now. Is, so that, mm -hmm. is that usually the position that griots take? Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, Jaliba Kuyate sang praises and heaped a lot of praises on former President Jame. Mm -hmm. And today, Mm -hmm. He's also heaping praise, praise on Barrow, and at the same time, heaping praises on Hussein Udabo as well, mm -hmm. meaning that 
he always played safe, middle of the road. Right. You don't go left, you don't go right. right. Kunyore again and I'm home. No, Kunyore again, inshallah. <laughs> Kunyore again, inshallah. So, what is the next step? What are you aiming at now? Uh, as I said, I released a single. Mm. It's called Democracy. So, I, next week another single is coming and then my album is nearly nearly finished. I'm waiting for the right moment and the right time. And then I'm planning to do an event on 4th of April, April 4th. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, that program that you want to do on the 4th of April mm -hmm. will be to see whether your fans are still there. Yes, to test myself. To test yourself. You're Shall going to we? test the waters right. and see whether the fans are still with Samba Ba. Shall Where we? is your strength? Where is the strength of Samba Ba? to make sure that the event will be jam-packed? You know, I believe one thing. I don't like promoting my, putting myself on top. <laughs> but I think seeing is believing. Mm -hmm. uh, people know who is Sambaba. If I said, I'll do an event, I know when you come there, you'll be happy. You'll not be disappointed. That one I'm sure, inshallah, Rabbi. And, uh, well, Putting up an event, mm -hmm. you must need some sponsors Definitely. to come on board and help you out. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about that seriously? Have you got people in mind that you want to partner with? <sighs> uh, President Barrow is there, by the way. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. Yeah, sponsor, I never have a sponsor, as I said. Like the former president used to help us. That one, I have that help. Only may God out him for that. Mm. Uh, but for sponsor, I never have a sponsor. But this time, I'm going to look around for a sponsor. I'll knock some gates and see what God will do. Okay. Mm -hmm. How, 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 how patronizing is the fuller community in terms of sponsorship? Because I... I know that most of the fullers here do a lot of uh, are their agents for products, you know. And of course, uh, Hamidu is there. Hamidu could be your friend. Hamidu, Hamidu Ja. Hamidu Ja, yeah, that's true. That's a, that's an honorable person. That's an honorable man. Oh, then I'll see him. Oh yes, I'll see him. Ham, ja. Hamidu Ja is an honorable man. Okay. And he's a very kind person. Mm -hmm. He's a philanthropist, and I'm sure Hamidu Ja knows Sambaba. Amir Jan knows you. I am sure he knows you. Yeah, I used to buy sometimes. Cement. <laughs> cement, when uh -huh. some of my friends send money to uh -huh. my house, I used to buy cement from him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. And you buy petrol from his filling station. Yeah. Most of the times, yeah. <laughs> well, I, 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 I honestly would have loved you to knock on the door of Amir Jan. And I'm sure, I am very, very sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know the full bear, the full bear business. Right. Uh, you all have the same, it's the same fraternity, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, there are so many Uri Jalos and here yeah, they are in the uh, money, money exchange business. The business, the, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I don't think that. Will, well, the Afri cells are here, the Q cells, even Gamsal. I mean, these are all uh, places that you can knock on their doors. Okay. I know it's not very easy, absolutely. It is not very easy. You must have somebody with the contacts that will help you. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how, what, are you uh, what are you leveraging? What, who do you think? Do you have a team that's going to help you out in that? That's the problem I'm facing. Because as a musician, I never have a promoter. Mm. I even never have a manager. Well, so if you are out there, you know you can be a good manager or a good promoter. The door is open. While you heard him, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, uh, good manager, good promoter. promoter yeah. Sambaba is available, mm -hmm. hot cake, and it's all yours. Sambaba is ready for now. <laughs> Sambaba is ready for now. Yes. Now, 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 Samba, yes, uh, talking about um, you having an occasion to meet President Barrow. Mm -hmm. uh, is that in motion? Are you, have you put that in motion to see the president? I would like to see President Barrow because I believe on him, one thing. You know, he's very sweet. 
when they say the first lady is by you are by. <laughs> you know, I love that. <laughs> oh, that I one, forgot the connection. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the first lady is yeah, by. The first lady is by. <laughs> so, definitely, I'm glad to see President Barrow as he's our leader. Yeah. If God bring the opportunity. I want to hand over that, uh, to give him that song I made for him, oh. hand to hand, oh. if there's any possibility for that. I'm looking forward for that. In what format is the song? Is it, is it, is it, you is have a, the clip here, I think. Yeah, the clip should be here. Right. And uh, you're going to give him a, is it on a CD, or you're going to give him a flash drive? I mean, you, I'm sure. I, no, I think I, flash drive now is better than CD. Oh. Okay, in a way. Yeah. Uh, but I'll, 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 I'll make, I'm making something yes. to give us a present. Okay. I'm okay. designing something to give us a present. If you were going to organize an event, will you invite him? Sure, I'll invite make him. Make him your chief patron as the organizer, you organizing, and see Mr. President, you're the chief patron and stuff like that. Maybe a few Dallases will come inside from State House. You never know. Sure, I'll invite him. <laughs> I'm inviting the president and all Gambians. Everybody is invited. Not only the, pre the president and the whole entire Gambia. Well, February is almost uh, at its end. You have mm -hmm. the whole of March. Yeah. And you're targeting the 4th of April. 4th of April, yeah. What would you like to tell your fans regarding that? Let them be ready. Sambaba is ready. I hope my fans are ready. And then 4th of April, don't be late, be on time, you'll be happy. Do you have a fans club? Um, there is a time many people follow me, they want to have a, you want to be your fans club, you want to be, this, they are too much so that I say, I think everybody is my fans, so I don't think I need to be fans club. Well, your fans, fans club, if I were you, I would have, I would have, I would have subscribed to that. Mm -hmm. Your fans club could have helped. Some about there are, let's talk politics now. There are 14 political parties and three more to join. 17 political parties. They want to contest the elections come 19, uh, 2021. Are you surprised, small little Gambia, with um, um, 17 political parties? I'm uh, not surprised. You're not? Not. With the democracy, you know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I think I mentioned all those things in my new clip, my new song, Democracy. Mm -hmm. If you listen to the song, I think I w you'll know that I'm not surprised. 17 political parties. Um, let us do one thing. Um, I'm sure we do not have much time to. We will listen to the song, uh, uh, one of your songs, and of course, and uh, I will leave that with your artists, but what is your final say to your fans and to those of uh, listening to you right now? What would you want to say to th those people? I would want to say to my fans, I'm shaking for prayers for everybody, from every humankind. Sambaba is seeking for dua. And then let us be one people. There is a one man mention something at the TRRC, when I heard that one, I was very happy. He said in Mandinka, Mulsi Wali Barikanakuya. Meaning? Yeah. We can have problem between us, but mm. we don't supposed to be enemies. Enemies. Yeah, and then I love that. Mm. We mm. are one people, one nation, and then let us love each other. Everybody has a right to be in this party, and this party, and this party. But the relationship between us, let make it. Let us make it tight. When it's time for politics, it's time for politics. When it's time for other things, let us do that. Yeah, one love, one nation, one people. Democracy, Molu, Allah, you love me. Adam, Abaro, Ila, you love me. Democracy, Mansa, Ila, you love me. Adam, Abaro, Ila, you love me. Political, football, majority. I'm
masakeo ila julo fele adam baro ila julo fele democracy mansa ila julo fele giri tanda o bamba tanda baro ila julo fele mansa musolu ila julo fele sajo baro ila julo fele fatu baro ila julo fele dunia musolu ila julo fele sunkuto nyimani la de fana jida ila julo fele jida ila julo fele jida ila julo fele baro lo ala julo fele libero ila julo fele adama baro ila julo fele maimuna baro ila julo fele khalimatu baro ila julo fele mankamang kunda ala julo fele ko mankamang ala julo fele ko mankamang ala julo fele ko mankamang ala julo fele demokrasi moru ala julo fele adama baro ila julo fele demokrasi Thank you. Well, that was my guest on the show, uh, Samba Ba, musician, uh, launching a new album come the 4th of April. Look out for that. Uh, for me, Malik Jones, bye-bye.